All praises to Yahweh, Bashem, or Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Another day to come out here and bring out the word of Yahweh. It's always a blessing. I want to say peace and salutations to all the elders from Great Millstone and all the elders and brothers out there bringing out this truth and sincerity. Why do we come out? We come out to preach the word because he said to be instant, in season, and out of season. This is what our Lord and Governor told us. We're in the perilous times. We're, in act, we're actually in the last days. And everybody's going to see. So we just, we got to come out and we got to blow the trumpet. So we don't care about the hottie looks or those impudent eyes. We're not worried about that stuff. The Lord said, just come out and preach the word. He says he'll be our shield and buckler, our fortress and our refuge. He says he'll be a very present help in a time of trouble. So we're, the people that are out here doing all the wickedness, they're the ones that the Most High is angry with anyway. He says, he, the Lord trieth the righteous, but he's angry with the wicked every day. Every single day he's angry with the wicked. But oh, the people get mad because we're preaching the word of God. Get mad over bringing out the Bible. This is sad that, oh, but everybody out here doing anything they want, they're okay. That's why Isaiah the prophet said, what are those that call good evil and evil good? That take darkness for light and light for darkness. That take bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. That's how that's most that's most people in this society. They take the they they like they rather have evil rather than good. But that's not how the how Mashiach Yahawashai set it up. He wants everything to be done right. He's about just weights and balances. He does he's not a god that has pleasure in wickedness. And he said nobody that's evil is gonna stand with him. He said the foolish is not gonna stand in his sight. He hates all the workers of iniquity. That's exactly what it says in Psalms chapter 5, starting at verse 4. So that lady, that lady went by and flipping her, putting a finger up, but now she got herself marked. Going by flipping us off, all she did was flip off, she flipped the Most High off. Because this is not our words, this is the words of the Most High Yahweh. Let's see, Ecclesiasticus chapter 3, starting at verse 19. It says, Many are in high place and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. He said the mysteries are always going to be revealed to the ones that are humble. That's why he said, He resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. All the ones that are high and mighty and lofty, pompous and arrogant, the Lord talks about them all through the Holy Scriptures. He said all those pompous and arrogant people, they're coming down. That's what he said is going to happen. He says, many are in high place and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. For the power of the Lord is great, and he is honored of the lowly. He's honored of all those that, are, that have a contrite spirit, who who's actually feels bad of what they've actually done. And they, they want to turn their life around and do what the Lord actually says. Seek. Seek not out the things that are too hard for thee, neither search the things that are above thy strength. But what is commanded thee, think thereupon with reverence. So we're going to think upon what the Lord actually told us. And we're going to reverence the Most High, the one that created the heavens and the earth. That's who we're going to put our reverence to. Because all people here in this society do, all they do is disappoint. They disappoint. That's all. But guess what? He actually said in Job, He's going to disappoint the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprises. So all the, the, the crafty and wicked devices they got planned and plotting towards Jake, the Lord is going to bring all that down and bring it to naught. He's going to bring it to nothing. Everything that people are plotting because his eyes are upon the sinful kingdom. He said in the book of Amos chapter 9, and he said he's going to destroy it from off the face of the earth. That's what he actually said in Amos 9. I gotta take this glove off because I can't hardly get to the scriptures here. Hold on to it. Lost my spot. But what is commanded thee, think thereupon with reverence, for it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes the things that are in secret. Be not curious in unnecessary matters. For more things are shown unto thee than man understand. So all we need to understand is what the Lord is revealing to us. 
don't need to worry about all this other stuff. Just, just worry and focus on what the Lord has told us to do. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion and an evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment. So they're always, this is their own, they want to go with the imaginations of their own evil hearts. That's what the prophet Jeremiah said. That's, that's exactly what it says in Jeremiah 17. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 25, and I'm going to jump to 29. It says, Smite a scorner, and the simple will beware. And reprove one that hath understanding, and he will understand knowledge. So most people that really want to get the, the truth, they're, they're going to take a reproof. They're going to take correction because they know that it's going to help better their life. They're not going to refuse it. Most people, they walk by like they have no cares in the world. But guess what? We're in the last days, so we got to come out and confess his holy name. It says, judgments are prepared for scorners and strikes for the back of fools. So the Lord, that's why his judgments are going to keep going forth as the light. Every morning that sun comes up, he's sending judgments. He's going to keep sending judgments because like I brought out before what David said in Psalms, he's not a God that has pleasure in wickedness. And he said no one that's evil is going to dwell with him. He said the foolish is not going to stand in his sight. He hates all the workers of iniquity. So that, that, that crushes all that ideology that God loves everybody. It doesn't say that nowhere in the Bible. It doesn't say that God loves everybody. He actually hates all the workers of iniquity. He actually hates all of them. That's why he's killing them. Why do you think he's out here doing tornadoes, hurricanes, earthquakes, tsunamis? Who do you, who do you think is doing all that? That's not a man that's doing all that or Mother Nature. That's the Most High, Yahweh, that's at work. Luke chapter 3, verse 9. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. So what, what is Hamashiach Yahawashai saying here in the book of Luke? He said, any, uh, being hewn down, he said he's going to chop all the ones that are wicked. He, that's what the hewn down is saying. He's going to chop all the ones that are wicked down, and they're going to be thrown into the fire. What fire? When those ICBM missiles start flying around here from Russia, Iran, China, North Korea, it's going to be an actual fire over here. But nobody wants to seem to take heed and hearken to what the Lord is saying. But we're going to bring it out as it is written. Acts chapter 17, verse 6. And when they found them not, they drew Jason and certain brethren unto the rulers of the city, crying, These that have turned the world upside down are come hither also. So yeah, we're coming. We're coming out. We're going out to the highways and to the hedges. And we're going to preach this gospel like he told us to do. He said, go out to the highways and the hedges, and as many as you find, bid them to the marriage. So that way you can't have you can't say you didn't have a chance to hear what the Lord had to say before he cracks that sky. Psalm 73, verse 8. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. All these pompous and arrogant people, God has everybody's numbers. Nobody is being, is going to get a pass for what they've done here in the body. He sees all and knows all because he's omnipotent. And there's no creatures hidden from his sight. Like it says in Hebrews, how you doing brother? Like it says in Hebrews chapter 4. But all things are open to the naked eyes of him to whom we must give an account. Verse 9. They set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walking through the earth. So he knows about all the people that have those, those uh, wicked mouths and like to murmur, backbite, and say all these things against the people of God. He knows all about it. Therefore, his people return hither and waters of a full cup are wrung out to them. See, he's going to separate the good wheat from the bad wheat. He's going to separate the sheep from the goats. And they say, how does God know? And this is how the mindset of the people that are with you. In their minds, they'll say, God doesn't see what I'm doing. God doesn't know what I'm doing. That's funny. He has that written in the Holy Scriptures. They'll say that God doesn't know what we're doing. But he asked, i got to read this again. This is, this is the mindset of the wicked people. And they say, how does God know? 
And is there knowledge in the Most High? Yes, he has all wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's where it all comes from. The one that created the heavens and the earth. That's where you're going to get the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Because he said the wisdom of this world is foolishness with Yahweh. For as, for as it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And he knows the thoughts of the men here. He said they are vain. He said this is all vanity right here. Yep, they won't allow, they mark and they sell. And they say, how does God know? And is there knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in this world. They increase in riches. See, that's, the Lord has everybody's number. So we got to confess it. Verily, I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocency. So David said he's going to stay innocent. He's going to have clean hands through all of this uh, oppression that's going on. For all the day long have I been plagued and chastened every morning. Because our people have been going through it. But see, the Lord is the one that's allowing it. But he only gives people a dispensation of time to do what they're doing. And then he says, that's it. He, he puts an end to it. Proverbs chapter 17 and 11. It says, an evil man seeketh only rebellion. Therefore, a cruel messenger shall be sent against him. So all the ones that keep rebelling... But guess what the Lord is saying in the Holy Scriptures? It's just a matter of time. He's saying this himself in the Holy Scriptures. What am I reading? The King James Holy Bible. That's what I'm going to continue to read because this is what he this is what he told me to do. He said to go out there and preach the word and be instant in season and out of season. Verse 15 through 16. He that justifieth the wicked and he that condemneth the just even the both of them are an abomination to the Lord. So a lot of times people, they get mad at us because we're just preaching the Bible, but then they'll, they'll, be, they'll justify all the people that's out here doing wickedness, that's going contrary to everything in the Holy Scriptures. They'll get mad just because we're reading the Bible. Say, oh, that, that, that person, we need to get him off the corner, get him off the street. We're just reading what saith the Lord. But the ones that's doing wicked, they, they'll justify the wicked. Let me read this again. He that justifieth the wicked, and he that condemneth the just, even they both are an abomination to the Lord. He said, they're, they're both an abomination. This is what the Lord said. Wherefore is there a price in the hand of a fool to get wisdom, seeing he hath no heart to it? Because they're not going to listen. They're not going to receive the engrafted word which is able to save their soul. They're not going to receive it. That's why he says, there, it's, it's like a fool. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. And they are corrupt. And they have done abominable works. So the Lord has been looking down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that understood and seek Yahweh. That's what he said in Psalms chapter 14. This is what the Lord said. What am I reading? The King James Holy Bible that I read every time I come out here. That's all I'm reading. There goes the judgments. Prophets on the scene. The judgments are far in between. Those judgments are going to go forth like the light. Jeremiah 6, verse 16 to 19. Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein, and you shall find rest for your souls. That's why uh, Moses said in Deuteronomy 32, verse 7, Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. He said to ask thy fathers and they will tell thee. Ask thy elders and they will show thee. How you doing, brother? How you doing? You are too? Yeah. We, we, what you doing? Just preaching the, the Bible. Just what, what the Lord commanded us to do. He said to go out to the highways and the hedges and preach. I mean, a lot of people, they don't want to do it, but they're going to pay the price for not being obedient to our Lord and governor. He's watching us all. He's omnipotent. He sees all and knows all. There's no creatures hidden from his sight, but all things are open to the naked eyes of him to whom we must give an account. That's Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. Everybody's going to have to give an account for what they've done here in the body. So what's better to do than preach the word of God? What is better than this? Verse 17. Also I set watchmen over you, saying, Hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, We will not hearken. 
And a lot of people, they just, this is how their mindset, how your sister's doing. A lot of people say, I don't want to hear this. That's most people. But they're getting marked. Everybody that had a chance to hear it, the Lord is going to remember this. He's going to, because see, his eyes is 10,000 times brighter than the sun. See, in the most secret parts. Nobody's hidden from him. That's why we got to come out in the open. Not sitting in a, he doesn't dwell in no temples made with hands. Like, it, like Paul said in the book of Acts chapter 7. He doesn't dwell in those temples where they're just uh, passing a collection plate around and using, getting all that prosperity gospel going. That's all they're doing in those Sunday churches. The Lord is going to come after all those pastors too for doing all that. Therefore, he, hear ye nations and know, know, O congregation, what is among them. Hear, O earth, behold, what I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor to my law, but rejected it. This is what the Lord said he's going to do. He's, got, he's the one that's sending those fires, the tornadoes, hurricanes, tsunamis. That's him doing every bit of it. Because no, he, he's nobody to play with. Not the one that created the heavens and the earth. But a lot of people, they say there is no God. That's those atheists, the agnostics, and all these other people that want to doubt. But you're going to be in for a rude awakening. Lost my spot. Psalms chapter 119, verse 89. Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. So this word has been settled. That's why in John chapter 1, he said, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was with God. The same was in the beginning. All things were made by him. And there was nothing made that, that wasn't made by him. I'm just paraphrasing. Everything was made by him. But a lot of people think they're doing something here that he didn't do. He gave, he gave, he has, a, he has the power and authority over all flesh. This is what a lot of people don't understand. Proverbs 30, verse 5. Every word of Yahweh is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Now listen to that good news. That's why David said he'll be my shield and my buckler, my fortress and my refuge, a very present help in a time of trouble. But a lot of people that keep going against what he's saying in the scriptures, they have no protection. That's why we got to come out and preach it. How you doing, sir? All right. We got to let everybody know because we're in the perilous times. He's on his way back. But a lot of people keep doubting, keep saying, oh, we've been hearing about him coming back for years. But it's it's, the, it's facts. He, everything he said in the Holy Scriptures is coming to pass. Isaiah 48, verse 22. There is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. Now you hear that? See, people think they got it made, and they think they don't have no cares in the world. But he said, let me read Isaiah 48 and 22 again. He said, there is no peace, saith the Lord Yahweh, unto the wicked. So anybody that's wicked, he's coming after them. He, he actually said he's going to come after all his adversaries, every single one of them. How you doing? He said he's coming after the people. So we're going to keep preaching it. There, there goes the judgment, and the prophets are on the scene, the judgments, there you go. He's going to send those judgments, just like the light, just like he said in the scriptures. They're, come, they're going forth like the light. Uh, uh, first address, chapter 4, verse 34 through 40. O ye men, are not women strong? Great is the earth, high is the heaven. Swift is the sun in his course, for he compasses the heavens round about, and fetches his course again to his own place in one day. So the Lord, this is the kind of power he has. He's the one that stretched, stretched out the heavens, and he makes it, and he does whatever he wants up there in the heavens. Because he created the heavens and the earth. He, is he not great that maketh these things? Yes, Yahweh is great that made all things. Therefore, great is the truth, and stronger than all things. All the earth crieth upon the truth, and the heaven blesseth it. All works shake and tremble at it, and with it is no unrighteous thing. Because every word he said is pure, like I just brought out. All the words of Yahweh are pure. He is a shield to those that put their trust in him. It says, wine is wicked. Now, he's, this is twofold. 
it's all right to have a glass of wine in moderation, but he's saying how getting into the wrong ideology or the wrong doctrine, that's wicked. Wine is wicked. The king is wicked. Some leaders are wicked. Women are wicked. Some women are wicked. He's, this is all twofold. All the children of men are wicked, and such are all their wicked works. And there is no truth in them. In their unrighteousness also they shall perish. So the Lord is saying, this goes with what Paul said in Romans 6 and 23. He said, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through our Lord of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. How you doing, man? This, this is what the Lord said. So we gotta, we gotta bring this out because we're in the last days. A lot of people think this place is going to continue on. No, that's, that's not what the Lord is saying in the Holy Scriptures. As for the truth, it endureth, and is always strong. It liveth and conquereth forevermore. With her it, there is no accepting of persons or rewards, but she doeth the things that are just, and refraineth from all unjust and wicked things. And all men do well like of her works. So we got we got to do well. Neither in her judgment is any unrighteousness, and she is the strength, kingdom, power, and majesty of all ages. But blessed be the God Yahweh of truth. So that's the heavenly Father. We we're always going to th be thankful and bless His holy name. How you guys doing? Good. How are you? All right. Uh, Romans chapter two, verse eleven through thirteen. It says, "For there is there is no respect of persons with Yahweh." For as many as have sinned without law shall also perish without law. And as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. So he says, if you didn't know about me, you should have picked up the Bible and got to know about me. Talking about the ones that are keeping his laws. And the ones that don't that, that are practicing the laws and doing it, you're going to be judged by the law. That's what Apostle Paul is saying here. How you doing now? For, for not the hearers of the law are just before Yahweh. But the doers of the law shall be justified. That's why we have to, how you doing, sis? We have to be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving our own self. We have to actually be doing this. That's why we come out and do it. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 2 to 7. This is what, uh, uh, the prophet Isaiah, what, what, what was in the spirit of Hamashiach Yahawashai. He says, I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron and I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I the Lord which called thee by thy name am the God of Israel that's the ones he chose from the foundation of the world he chose Yasharala for Jacob my servant's sake and Israel mine elect I have called thee by thy name I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. A lot of, a lot of our people, they, they hear it, but they don't want to hearken. They don't want to receive the engrafted word which is able to save their soul. That's what they're going to have to do or they're going to get destroyed out here. It says, I am the Lord and there is none else. There is no God besides me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. That they may know, now he's talking to everybody in the whole planet. That they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none besides me. I am the Lord and there is none else. <laughs> then he says, I form the light and create the darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. You guys are fine. Go ahead. Thank you. you guys are fine. Thank you. So this is the Lord that's doing all these things. He's the one that sends a hurricane if he's upset. He's the one that does a tornado. That's him at work. He says he does all these things. And with that, we're going to close out with Matthew. So we'll just have to blow this trumpet. God bless you, brother. God bless you, my boy. I'm a soldier for the law. <laughs> yeah. Matthew 26, verse 6. Now, when Omashiach was in Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment, and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Amashiach Yahweh understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? 
for she hath wrought a good work upon me. For you have the poor always with you, but me you have you have not always. For in that she had poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this that this woman had done be told for a memorial of her. And with that, we're going to, we're facing the east, so we're going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Vashem, Mashiach, Yahushai. So you want to say peace and salutations to all the elders out there bringing out this truth and all the brothers bringing out this truth and sincerity. I'm going to say uh, the Wada Abba for giving me another day to come out and preach this word. I want to say Shalom.